FEMA money failing to get to those in need and big systemic problems is why it is happening. That's the conclusion of a new report out today by the U.S. Department of Labor Office of the Inspector General. 10 Tampa Bay's Candace Avila shares what they found. It's hard to forget the devastation Hurricane Irma brought to Florida, Harvey brought to Houston, and Maria brought to Puerto Rico. A new report from the U.S. Department of Labor's Inspector General followed the $85 million FEMA gave to the Employment Training Administration, or ETA. The agency was supposed to help hurricane-ravaged states with unemployment assistance. Investigators focused on two questions. Were controls in place to make sure benefits were paid only to those who were eligible? And were those people paid promptly? The results? No and no. The report found 23 percent of claims could not be verified, meaning $5.6 million could have been put to better use. And only 27 percent of claims were paid by the deadline, 21 days. The report proposed three solutions. First, written policies and annual training for state agencies. Second, create a rapid response team to give technical and other assistance to states impacted by major disasters. And third, recover the more than $95,000 in questionable costs from two agencies whose eligibility could not be substantiated. And the ETA generally agreed with the recommendations found there. Now you can read the full report in our story. That's at 10tampabay.com.